Porsche 914. The Porsche 914 or VW Porsche 914 is a mid-engine sports car designed, manufactured and marketed collaboratively by Volkswagen and Porsche from 1969 to 1976. It was available as a target top two-seat roadster powered by either A or flat six engine. By the late 1960s, both Volkswagen and Porsche were in need of new models. Porsche was looking for a replacement for their entry-level 912, and Volkswagen wanted a new range-topping sports coupe to replace the Carmen Ghia Coupe. At the time, the majority of Volkswagen's developmental work was handled by Porsche, part of a setup that dated back to Porsche's founding. Volkswagen needed to contract out one last project to Porsche to fulfill the contract, and decided to make the 914 that project. Ferdinand Piek who was in charge of research and development at Porsche, was put in charge of the 914 project. Originally intending to sell the vehicle with a flat four cylinder engine as a Volkswagen and with a flat six cylinder engine as a Porsche, Porsche decided during development that having Volkswagen and Porsche models sharing the same body would be risky for business in the American market, and convinced Volkswagen to allow them to sell both versions as Porsches in North America. On March 1, 1968, the first 914 prototype was presented. However, development became complicated after the death of Volkswagen's chairman, Heinz Nordhoff, on April 12, 1968. His successor, Kurt Lotz, was not connected with the Porsche dynasty and the verbal agreement between Volkswagen and Porsche fell apart. In Lotz's opinion, Volkswagen had all rights to the model and no incentive to share it with Porsche if they would not share in tooling expenses. With this decision, the price and marketing concept for the 914 had failed before series production had begun. As a result, the price of the chassis went up considerably, and the 914 sixths ended up costing only a bit less than the 911T, Porsche's next lowest price car. The 914 sixths sold quite poorly while the much less expensive 914-4 became Porsche's top seller during its model run outselling the Porsche 911 by a wide margin with over 118,000 units sold worldwide. Volkswagen versions originally featured and fuel-injected 1.7 liters flat 4 engine based on the Volkswagen air-cooled engine. Porsche's 914 sixths variant featured a carbureted 2.0 liters flat 6 engine from the 1969 911T, placed amidships in front of a version of the 1969 911's 901 gearbox configured for a mid-engine sports car. Carmen manufactured the rolling chassis at their plant completing Volkswagen production in-house or delivering versions to Porsche for their final assembly. The 914 sixths models used lower gear ratios and high brake gearing in order to try to overcome the greater weight of the six-cylinder engine along with higher power output. They also featured five lug wheels and an ignition on the left side of the steering wheel. Suspension and handling were otherwise mostly thesimi. A Volkswagen-Porsche joint venture, Volkswagen of America, handled export to the U.S., where both versions were batched and sold as Porsches. The four cylinder cars were sold as Volkswagen Porsches at European Volkswagen dealerships. Slow sales and rising costs prompted Porsche to discontinue the 914 sixths variant in 1972 after producing 3,351 of them. Its place in the lineup was filled by a variant powered by a new 2.0 liters, fuel injected version of Volkswagen's Type 4 engine in 1973. For 1974, the 1.7 liters engine was replaced by a 1.8 liters, and the new Bosch Algetronic fuel injection system was added to American units to help with emissions control. The 914's production ended in 1976. The 2.0 liters flat four engine continued to be used in the 912E, introduced that year as an entry level model until the front engine I four cylinder 924 was introduced the following model year. The 914 was Motor Trend's import car of the year for 1970. A 914 sixths GT driven by Frenchman Claude Allet Lina and Guy Chassoil won the GTS class and finished sixth overall at the 1970 24 Hours of Le Mans. Brian Redman used a 914 sixths to scout the course in practice runs for the 1970 Targa Floria. The Porsche 914 was produced from 1969 to 1976 in the following models. Two prototype 914s, dubbed 914 eighths, were built during 1969. The orange 914 eighths was the first constructed, at the instigation of Ferdinand Pieck, then head off the racing department, to prove the concept. Powered by the full-blown, 908 flat-8 racing engine, 
It was based on a surplus 914 hand-built development prototype body shell, chassis number 914,111, hence the many differences from the standard vehicle, for example, the quad headlights. The second, silver, road-registered car, powered by a carbureted and detuned 908 race engine making was then prepared as a gift to Ferry Porsche on his 60th birthday. Also based on the spare prototype shell, chassis number 914006, it was much closer to the standard car in detail. By all accounts Ferry didn't like the car very much and it is now in the Porsche Museum. Neither car saw a racetrack except for the purposes of testing. The 914 eighths was not considered for production as a regular model. Another factory prototype, a 914 sixths, chassis number 914,114, surfaced in the U.S. in 2001. Together with the surviving prototype Sportomatic 914 sixths, chassis number 914,120, reputedly in southern Germany, they are a special part of Porsche history. Planned for the 1972 model year, the Porsche 916 program was cancelled after 11 prototypes with aerodynamic front and rear bumpers and either the 2.4 engine from the 911S, or the 2.7 from the Carrera. They were also to have a fixed steel roof, wider wheels, double grilled engine lid, and flared fenders as taught from the 914-6 GT cars. Ventilated disc brakes were fitted to all four wheels, and also a mid-engine version of the then-new 915 transmission, giving a conventional shift pattern with 1-4 to four and an H and 5th out on a limb. One 916 was built to U.S. specs and on delivery to the U.S. was fitted with air conditioning by the dealer, Brumos, and has been housed at the Automobile Atlanta 914 Museum since 1990 along with 11 other rare 914 and 914-6 models. Over the seven model years, Porsche made a number of changes to the 914. Some of these changes were cosmetic and others were in response to changing crash protection standards. From 1970 to 1974, the 914 was offered with chrome or painted bumpers. In early 1970, rear bumpers were produced with a straight crease on either side of the license plate indent. Between 1970 and 1972, both front and rear bumpers were smooth without bumper guards. In 1973, bumper guards were added to the front of the car. In 1974, guards were also added to the rear bumper. In 1975 and 1976, the chrome or painted bumpers were replaced with heavy, rubber covered units, which actually made the cars more stable at high speed. The headlights around were white from the first 914s to mid production of 73 and subsequently black. Cars produced up to early 1972 had a fixed passenger seat and a removable passenger footrest. Later cars featured a movable passenger seat. Other interior differences included changing vinyl designs, gauge appearance, and air vent configurations in the dash. The most significant performance upgrade during the vehicle's lifespan was the introduction of anti-roll bars, significantly improving the handling, and a change from the tail shifter to the side shifter gearbox for 1973 improving the otherwise vague long linkage. In 1974, Porsche produced a series of limited edition cars for the North American market to commemorate Porsche's victories in the Kinem Racing Series. They were equipped with individual color schemes and came standard with otherwise optional equipment. The factory is said to have produced about 1,000 of these vehicles, about 50% Bumblebee and 50% Creamsicle. Variants of this series were manufactured and distributed in very limited numbers to European markets and Japan. Along with the regular appearance group option, fog lamps and center console with clock and additional gauges, at $300, the low package set buyers back another $320. All limited editions models came with a 2.0 liters, 1,971 cc, flat 4 engine, which was otherwise optional in the standard 914 that produced 91 horsepower in U.S. trim. The Creamsicle, with a cream color exterior, paint code U2V9, these cars sported Phoenix red trim, including color-matched lower valances and bumpers. This light ivory color scheme concept carried over from the 1973-911 Carrera RS series. The Bumblebee, featuring a black exterior, paint code L041, these cars sported a sunflower yellow trim, paint code L13K. Black body paint color was always an additional cost special option on standard 914 Porsche cars, but was included as a standard component on the black 914 Le cars. 
Like the creamsicle all but one photo of the 914 Porsche Can-Am prototype cars are Bumblebee cars. The black-based 914 Le color scheme is specific to the 914 Le cars and has no precedent with the Can-Am race cars or the 1973 911 Carrera RS series cars. The majority of 914 limited editions seem to be Bumblebees. All 914 Le cars featured a specially designed front spoiler and negative side stripes. Additionally, all limited editions were equipped with front and rear anti-sway bars, dual horns, leather-covered steering wheel, driving lights, painted rear roll bar trim, as opposed to vinyl clad, molly cast aluminum wheels on the center console with an oil temperature gauge, clock, and voltmeter. According to Internet Movie Cars Database, the 914 has made over 150 film and television appearances so far. These include the prominent car chase where the car is piloted by Deborah Grant in the UFO TV series, episode The Psycho Bombs from 1971. On the television series The Rockford Files, 1974 to 1980, Gretchen Corbett played James Garner's attorney and drove an orange Porsche 914 from 1974 to 1978. The Porsche 914 is renowned for having been Formula One's first safety car following its deployment at the 1973 Canadian Grand Prix to help manage the race, which had seen various incidents due to treacherous weather conditions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.